Good morning. This is the first part of a two-part video on how to publish an online test and embed it into Google Classroom so students can actually use it. The first part's pretty easy, and I'm sure most of you have already done it. It's publishing a, an online test. So you're in exam view, export as an HTML doc, make sure it's exported as a test so the student can see the score and what the email results sent to me. I'm just going to put it on my desktop so I can easily grab it. Now the next part is something that I'm sure most of us have already tried, but something that I managed to be able to do successfully, which is to publish a test, an online test, into a classroom that students can actually take. So we're going to add an assignment, or an announcement, excuse me. And I'm going to grab this test. I am going to add it as an attachment. Make sure I'm adding the HTM file, upload it, and post it. Now this is where most of us, uh, where everything went haywire for most of us. Students would click on it and they'd get a, a bunch of incomprehensible code. Uh, the next part I'm going to show you is how the students should open and actually take the exam. That's part two. This is the second part on publishing an exam view test into Google Classroom and actually making it usable. As you can see from the last video, I've uploaded the test here. Now typically you'd click on it and this would come up and that's totally unusable. It doesn't work for the kids. So what we want to do is Alt-click, open link and new tab. Now this is a multi-step process. It's going to take a little bit for the kids to get used to. Once you've done that, you actually want to download this. Now this does mean that the students will have a copy of your test downloaded, if that matters. All right, so we have it right here, Gilded Age HTM. We don't want to open it yet. We want to show it in the folder. see it here. Now again, we still don't want to click on it. We want to alt click or right click if you can. And you don't want to open with text. That's going to open it up and it's going to look all goofy. You want to open with view. Once you open it with view, here you are. Now the nice little grade and submit button, it doesn't show up uh, like it used to, but it's still here. It still works. Click grade and submit. Student name cannot be blank, but it is working. So, good have put in an email so that kids can get their results emailed to them. I'm not answered. I'm sure I want to end the test. And it was submitted. It was sent to my email. I hope this helps you out because I know I've been looking for a few years on how to do this, and I just kind of stumbled into it. So best of luck to you.